Lead poisoning, a major issue that impacts many families in eastern Omaha. As our Maria Cade explains, while the number of people with a high amount of lead in their body is going down, officials say it's still too many. Lead is toxic and high levels can be deadly. For years in Omaha, it filled the soil and the water until the Environmental Protection Agency began to clean it up in the 90s. And even though their efforts have been vast, the Douglas County Health Department says it's still very easy to be exposed to it. Now it can be in paint in older homes and in spices like turmeric. The health department says children tend to absorb three to four times the amount of lead that adults do and it's leading to some big concerns while they're still developing. They're exposed at an early age. It can be stored in the bones, and then as they're growing, then it can be released up into the body. Now, McCracken says that number is still too high. DCHD's lead poisoning prevention program focuses on providing cleaning and nutritional tips for people who are impacted by high lead levels. Now, tomorrow morning on 6 News Daybreak, I'm going to be sharing more about what she says you can do to keep your loved ones and yourself safe from all of this. On your side in the studio, Maria Cade, 6 News. And this week is National Lead Poisoning Prevention Week. The Douglas County Health Department is highlighting the services they offer to help people impacted by lead poisoning. They provide free testing at the clinic every Tuesday morning from 830 until 1130.